In today's video, I'm in Bangkok, giving you a brief introduction to the city. I'm riding inside a real non-air-conditioned bus in downtown Bangkok. For 8 Thai baht, equivalent to 23 US cents, you could ride in this bus in downtown Bangkok. Check it out, just a regular bus with no extras added. It didn't take me long to figure out people do things a little bit differently in Thailand. Check this out, people waiting at the door with it open as the bus is still moving. That is something you won't catch me doing. Next up, I take a ride on the SkyTrain. Now I'm making my way over to ride on a real SkyTrain in downtown Bangkok. If that non-air-conditioned bus wasn't your speed, then this may be more to your liking. You simply pay for your ticket and then go through the turnstile. Go up the escalator and there you'll find the SkyTrain. The SkyTrains are nice, they're fast, they're clean and they are on time. The price will vary depending on the distance that you want to travel. Once the train arrives, simply enter and enjoy Bangkok from high atop. This is the best way to travel in Bangkok. When the stops are announced, not only are they announced in Thai, but also in English. Next station, Victory London. Another benefit of riding the SkyTrain is you get to check out the city from high atop. One of the things that quickly jumps out is the style of buildings as they look more and more like a Western country. And as one building is torn down, another one is ready to take its place. In Thailand, they drive on the left side of the road. Check out the beautiful Bangkok skyline. And now I'm on the air-conditioned bus in Bangkok. This one, a little pr more pricier than the non-air-conditioned one I was on earlier. This bus is a more conventional bus that you would find in the States. This is unique unto Thailand. Check all these little tuk-tuks here. Look at there's one, two, three, and they're all decorated, fancy, ready to go. Five right here, tuk-tukers, six right here. There's a wave, nice. Seven. There's a good tuk-tuk guy right there. Eight. Wow, nice tuk-tukers. All of them ready to go at your need. Now I'm going to get a haircut in Bangkok. One of my favorite things to do whenever in a foreign country is stop in and get a haircut. I started this fun little tradition several years ago. I've gotten haircuts in Vietnam, Poland, Cuba, Laos, and Nepal, just to name a few countries. The good thing is, if they don't do a good cut, it'll grow out in about three weeks. This haircut cost me 100 Thai baht, equivalent to three US dollars. So there you have it. I just got a nice haircut from this place here. Very good, very good chop. I'm happy. It's dried egg noodle with fried chicken. So let's see how this goes over. Mm. Very good. You can't go wrong ordering something like this in Bangkok. This meal cost me 45 Thai baht, which is equivalent to a dollar fifty. Really good. Nice and tender. I found this interesting. In Thailand, you are allowed to set up shop anywhere you like. These people set up their shop on a bridge overpass, laying out a blanket. You are permitted to do this six days a week, except on Mondays. And this is the famous Victory Monument. The Victory Monument roundabout is one of the busiest roundabouts in the world. This is a view of the Victory Monument from the ground level. It's a little bit past six o'clock in downtown Bangkok, and this is the iconic 111-year-old train station. The sun has just set, and that means it's the blue hour in Bangkok. This is the best time to get out and take pictures of the city. If you're finding this video informative, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, please subscribe to the channel. It will help the channel grow. Right now I'm inside this old historic train station. Right now they're thinking about closing it, but they might not close it. So 
The people are fighting, citizens want to keep it. So let's see what happens if this thing is around. It is a beautiful building inside. It would be a shame to see it go bye-bye and the citizens really want to keep it. Let me walk over to this little building and see what's going on here. And these are all the things you should not do while riding in a train. Check it out. Throwing rocks, jumping out, shooting. A whole list of things what not to do. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go inside and take a, a little bit of video inside this old Ticket booths to buy your tickets. In Thailand, they love, honor, and respect their kings. In the middle is a large mural of the king that built this train station. To the left is the current king, and to the right is the past king. Train information. And the monks. Look at the uh, railway police and the Buddha. And here's the Buddha. And this is what you see when you enter from the main entrance. Check that out, pretty cool. It's 6 p.m. and everybody stands up for the national anthem in Bangkok at the train station. Look at this. Thailand, the national anthem is played twice a day, once at 8 a.m. and the other at 6 p.m. At that time, all people stand and respect the flag. I recently made a video on riding the Thailand Express to Bangkok. If you would like to see what it's like to ride in a train in Thailand, please click on the link above. If you would like to see my other videos on Thailand, please click on the link now. Thank you so much for watching.